Hello once again, this is uh, Todd Martin and I'm coming to you today with a uh, gonna keep on continuing with that HTTP server but today we're gonna add a little bit more. So what we have is our HTTP server which simply just displays the documents and desktop slash Run it real quick. Webserve.py. Slash users. Slash Tom Martin. Always screw that up. Desktop slash server. Spelling's horrible today. We're running it off of uh, port 8000, which we need to document that. Go to our local host. Here's the files, and we haven't done the HTML parsing, which I'll probably get to a little bit later down the road. But uh, the plan for today is to do uh, FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It's simply just a way to transfer a, a file from your computer to a server. Uh, mostly used with uh, root. Oh, um, mostly used with a remote connection. So we oh, should probably spell that right, right there. So here we have a server. Then we have the client. Now we need a way to transfer these files, but. Uh, we need a way to transfer the file, so we're going to use the file transfer protocol, which simply says, I have a file, upload it to the server. You can also download, and with like a little bit more uh, more complex programs than what I'm going to be doing today, would be uh, like FileZilla, which would be editing and s stuff like that. So, I'm going to create a simple FTP server. FTP usually runs on port 21, but for the purpose of the tutorial, we're going to be a uh, usual port st standard. But for the tutorial, I'm going to be running off of port 8080 today. So let's get started. Um, remember, I'm using Python 2.7. So if you have Python 3, anything like that, um, this it may not exactly work like it's supposed to. First thing I need to go over is the library I am going to be using today. Be Python FTPD lib hosted by Google. It's just uh, it makes it a whole lot simpler. This doesn't come standard with Python or at least with my version of Python it didn't. You just go to download, you save the file, then you go uh, into our little arc well, for me, it's Finder. Um, find it real quick, which will be right here. You unarchive it, which will give you this folder right here. Then you want to open up your terminal. Let's change directory to users. Todd Martin slash downloads. In the right spot, change directory to pi. Okay, Pi FTPD. Then you're gonna run Python setup.py install, and it installs it for you. Me, I already have it installed. To double check it, go to your Python shell, help with parentheses, modules. This usually takes a few minutes but it should be listed in there. So while that's listing, we're going to go ahead and start. All right, we're going to do from pi ftp lib import ftp server. What it's just saying is you're basically going to still be importing ftpd lib, but we're going to go a little bit more specific and look at the ftp server within that library. See if it's somewhere 
in there. But we don't need that window. Yeah, kill it. So, we're going to be using a FTP server from PyFTPDLib. Alright, first thing we're going to need is an authorizer. And I'm going to go ahead and set up all the authorizing and then I'll go over it. FTP server dummy authorizer. Be careful whenever typing this stuff out, make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes. Authorizer dot add underscore user. Let's go with Todd. One, two, three. And slash user slash Todd Martin slash desktop server. Is it anonymous? We'll just set the directory. Oh. Hope I spelled all that right. Handler. So this is all the basic authorizing. Uh, what we do is uh, really these lines you don't have to pay too much attention to. They're just kind of standard there for this program. You don't really have to know exactly what they do. But right here is the golden spot right here that you need to understand. Authorizer.addUser. So we're adding a user to the FTP server. Um, and our user is going to be Todd with the password of 123. And whenever somebody logs in to the server using Todd123, it's going to automatically open up the uh, directory of users Todd Martin desktop server. And we also have another authorizer, which is going to be anonymous, which means if they don't provide specific login credentials, it's still going to go to users Todd Martin desktop server. It's still going to open that up. But we're not really going to be concerned today with the whole login in. The idea is just to set the server up and get the client going just to kind of show you everything going on. So, next thing we have is we're going to set up our connection. So, we are going to connect to localhost, which is going to, that's just going to be the host name. And then this next part is going to be the port. Now, I'm going to use 880. Just know that the uh, second argument in the parameters is going to be the port number and host name. Hi. Yeah? Washington and Dryer, clear. Okay. All right. So after we set up the connection, we're going to actually start setting up FTPD. Actually start setting up the server. Server. Uh. Alright, what this says is we're going to start a variable called FTB. It's going to equal FTP server dot FTP server. <coughs> and uh, the parameters is going to take its connection, which is going to be equal to localhost in 8080. And we have the handler. This handler here is going to point back to the authorizer. This connection is going to port back here, so it's going to say, okay, we have an FTP server that's going to be on our local host on port 80, and we're going to authorize these to access it. And then, of course, FTP serve underscore forever, which just means it keeps on constantly going. So, it's going to save this code. Uh, desktop development blog FTP server.py and let's see if we can run it real quick wait did it save 
to the right spot. It's development. Oh, didn't want it to save there. Save here. All right. Open it back up. Double check it's in there. Python FTP server dot pi <coughs> has no dummy authorizer. Has no attributes. Uh oh, I think I left something out. object has no attributes to anonymous all right well more more than likely it's probably not going to work because the problem is is we don't really have everything set up that we need right now and uh, <coughs> in the next tutorial we're all going to set up the client and then we're actually going to combine it with the HTTP server but whenever I ran it, I didn't really expect it to run yet. Just to double check everything. Looks good. Oh, I know what I missed. Add. Maybe it'll run now. Yep, start an FTP server. So in our next tutorial, we'll actually set up the client so that way we can work with this FTP server. And then we're going to take the AC server and the uh, FTP server and put it in one nice little script and uh, that'll be it